YouTube back today with some car content finally. Uh, out here in the Midwest, it's starting to finally warm up and get a little nicer outside. So hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some new car content more. Um, today I'm going to be putting a new radio in my Monte Carlo. But that's not the highlight of today's video. I'm taking it down to my audio guy's house, which is who put in my... Camaro seats from a 2012 to 15 Camaro and he's going to be explaining to you guys how he put those in because that's probably my most asked question about the car. This is the radio I got right here. It's a, a 9 inch Sony single den, car, Apple CarPlay and everything. Give you all a cold start of this bad boy. Give me one second while I set up. said he don't even remember doing my car. <laughs> That's what happens when you do too many cars. <laughs> right? I don't even remember how many cars I've brought to you over all the years. It's been a lot. It's sure been a lot. Look at that. Bam! <clears throat> so what do you think? Sound quality going to be better with the Sony over the Pioneer? I think it's going to sound good, yeah, because it's a lot more modern deck, you know? Right. Okay. Yeah, I think that that was brand new when I bought it. When I brought it over here, what was that, three years ago? So yeah, I'm hoping. sure it's going to be a step up for sure. Cool. That's one thing I was worried about is losing some sound quality. Debating on taking out this AC stuff because I don't even know if I'm on. Uh, was this used or was this new? Hook it up. All right, so we're down here at my buddy Chris's house, aka the mad scientist, when it comes into car audio. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let him explain to you how he put in these seats and did what he did. All right, so basically, everybody's asking for it, wanting to know how we put these seats in the, the Monty. Um, it was a learning curve for me, too, so I'll try to walk you through it the best I can uh, with obviously not doing it. Um, so obviously, uh, if you're doing a G-body type setup, it should all pretty much be the same, but you obviously, you need to buy the seats first. Um, one thing you're gonna need for sure, make sure you buy all the seats and you will need the new seat belts. Your old 
G-body seat belts will not plug in to these new seats. Um, you will need some wiring, power and ground, and uh, I used a, uh, a uh, small fuse box I was able to get at the local, you know, parts store. Um, you know, so basically we've got, you know, the driver's seat on one and the passenger seat on the other. That way all the, uh, you know, power functions, you know, actually work. Um, it is just literally simple as one positive, one negative, uh, power all the time. You do not want to wire it up any differently. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was literally red and black um, is all that it was. So very, very simple there. Um, so I guess when you go and, uh, you know, get your G body all taken apart and you want to actually get these seats to sit in there, um, it was, uh, quite a bit of an experience to do. So on these seats, on these brackets here, um, the front are going to have more or less kind of just like a hook style in the front. There's no bolts that hold these down in the front. So what I did was I took a sawzall and I literally cut the bottom of those, you know, feet off. This hole was already in the track. So, so that worked out really, really well. <clears throat> so make sure you cut those off um, because your old seat frames will not work in this setup. So pull out all your seats and just get rid of the parts. That simple. Um, now on the back, it's going to be really hard to see probably. Um, Here we go, see. All right, so in the back, after you, uh, you know, get holes drilled in the front and you get those uh, little teeth, I guess we'll call them, you know, cut off, what I had done uh, was, you know, I went ahead and put these bolts, I drilled through the body or the floor of the car. I set those bolts um, and I checked the functioning of the seat to make sure it moved forward and backwards freely and just kind of watch the back. So the back I didn't have attached. So what I needed to do was figure out where the comfortable like level spot is for the seat um, and just went through the factory the factory hole with a really long bolt got some steel tubing that's hollow in the center so I put the long bolt through that tubing once I figured out what that height was and then underneath there's just a big huge fat washer with a lock washer and a nut a little bit of Loctite just the blue not the red because I wanted the seat to stay nice and sturdy and uh, it's been a couple what a couple years now three, three years. years three years now everything's still functioning well uh, everything's very nice and tight um, so so all that all that worked out really really well you know once I got that figured out now I'm not saying that this is 100% the right way um, you know I'm sure some guys out there have some better ideas but it was definitely my first go at it um, knock on wood everything is uh is still very nice and tight and everything works well the seats function completely as they should um the back seat that you know got a little more interesting to do i will go ahead and i'll flip this this light around so we can see a little better um because as you can see i had to make these little small little filler boxes here because the original seat you know was obviously a lot wider you know all the way in the back up here you know against the back of the firewall um or we'll call it the trunk wall sorry about that um and you have seat belts here you know so we needed to have those actually working too so i just went ahead and just made you know just some wood you know fillers here on the sides um the same in the back and just wrapped everything in carpet um it, you know that all seemed to work out pretty pretty well um now none of the the mounting for this seat uh, is anything to do with the original stuff that came out of the car. So what I had done was just took, you know, some of the steel plating, you know, stuff. It's just got a bunch of holes in it, wrapped it around the top, 
and then brought it down and sunk it down you know into the floor to tie it down in the in the front um, I really just couldn't come up with a better idea you know I'm sure somebody out there may come up with a better idea but that was the best I could come up with um, I did the same same you know type of stuff in the back you know for the back bottom cushion I wrapped that you know just metal around it you know and hammered a freaking screw into the body and uh, same with the back seat so once I got this in then I set that in then I went through the trunk and uh, just did the same thing back there would be obviously possibly hard to see but all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and show you what's going on here in the trunk area so in the back you know where I mounted the seat in the back here um, it's just that metal strip tubing stuff not really sure what they call it but it just has a bunch of holes in it you get it on a roll um, I went ahead and just secured that through the back framing. I used like half inch screws and just drilled directly into the back of the seat because it's got like a really hard piece of plastic behind here. Uh, so I was able to screw in that really, really well and I felt really good about it. Um, did it again up here at the top, screwed that in up top, you know, just to hold the seat in there real well. Um, I mean, if you pull on the seat, it seems super nice and tight. So it is working out well uh, considering it was Probably about three years ago we did this um and then obviously the music in the trunk got the cab 1600 the scar 4 channel it's running the mids and highs up front um big dumbass battery and uh two cab 12 inch uh subs ported box side fire uh, tuned super super low so the box does look really big uh, but a lot of its port um, I think pretty much everything you know to do the seats in this car material wise ran somewhere around a hundred bucks or less you know because you just need to get a uh, you know probably a small roll um, I used uh, 12 12 gauge all copper wire um, power and ground all right guys so I'm gonna end out the video here the camera kept cutting off because my it's battery's about to die, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a couple more seconds to walk through what else we did today. The main reason I came here today was putting this radio for me. It's a Sony XAV 8000 or some yada yada like that. It's a nine inch radio. It's got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all the goodies of the new stuff, and it just looks a lot better than the single den in here, and it actually fits near perfect in the center of this and i don't i don't use my ac or heat none of that shit works so it ain't bugging me to hide it but yeah thanks for watching subscribe subscribe like comment let me know what you guys think and uh i'll see you guys in another video